How to build a forest overlap apex shed. Your shed will be delivered flat packed with all the fixings required. Before starting, we recommend you read through the instructions carefully and check you have all the components listed. Our sheds are made up of smaller modular panels that are easy to handle. Our panels are easy to carry into the back garden. To build a shed, you will need these tools. A ladder, a cordless combi drill or cordless drill and cordless impact driver with posi drive bits PZ1 and PZ2. 2mm and 5mm bits. A spirit level, a hammer, a tape measure, a sharp knife. And remember, always pre-drill a pilot hole before screwing. Sheds need to be built on a completely level, solid base. We recommend any of these bases. Pro shed plastic base, poured concrete base, wooden shed base, slabs or patio. We recommend two people to build a shed. Forest offer a range of timber bases to fit all their sheds. They are incised and pressure treated to protect against rot and fungal decay. It's important to position your shed away from trees or overhanging foliage and with enough space around it for maintenance or removal of debris. Assembling the floor and sides. To build your shed, first start with the floor. Turn the floor sections upside down and secure together by screwing through the adjoining bearers. Lean your panels upright against a solid wall or fence, do not lay them on the ground. You can interchange panels of the same size, allowing you to choose the window and door position depending on the shed configuration to suit your garden layout. When constructing your shed, we recommend starting in a back corner and working towards the front. Start by securing the panels in one of the back corners, attaching them together and to the base. Repeat the process for the remaining panels, making sure that the bottom frame of the wall panel rests on the outer edge of the floor. Screw the door batten down. Once you have all your side panels secure, you can add your apex roof end sections. Fitting the windows. Fix the L brackets onto the sill and then attach to the base of the window. Now you can fix the windows in place from the outside. Secure the windows by screwing through the cover strips and into the panel frame. Make sure you screw into the bottom of the window and into the interior sill to keep the window secure. Attaching the cover and door strips. Attach the cover strips to the corners and where the panels join, ensuring they are flush with the bottom edges of the panels. Secure the door's weather strips. If this is a single door shed, attach to the side you want the hinges. Fixing the door. Attach the two hinges to the door frame using the measurements provided in your instructions. Make sure the outer face of the notch on the hinge is in line with the door face. Attach the slamming strip to the door. Attach the turnkeys to the inside of one door if you have a double door shed. Place the door into the opening, ensuring it is level with a 5mm gap at the top. Fix the hasp and staple door fastening using a pencil to mark the edges for guidance, ensuring the screws go into the framework behind. Assembling the roof. To assemble the roof truss, lay out all the components and remember to pre-drill with a 5mm bit for the bolts used.
Ensure the truss support brackets are added first and are flush with the edge of the central beams to establish the correct angle. Screw the U brackets according to the measurements provided in your instructions. Secure the support bracket hangers with screws into the centre of your shed. Position according to measurements provided in your instructions. Attach the truss to the support bracket hangers. The truss will now be facing the apex sections. To fit the roof beams, first attach a Z bracket to the face of one end, making sure the bracket is flush with the beam. Next, secure the other end of the beam to the U bracket of the truss by screwing from the underside of the beam. Screw the other end of the beam to the apex section frame. Repeat for each roof beam. For the roof, First screw the roof support strips along the edge of the OSB sheets, ensuring they are flush with the edges. Add one strip to each sheet as shown. The strip will be the same length as one side of the sheet. Screw the OSB sheets into position, ensuring you screw into the truss and beams underneath. And here's a top tip, mark the sheets and draw a line to ensure you drill and screw into the correct area. Applying the roof covering. Using a measuring tape, measure out equal lengths of roof felt that will run along the longest length of the shed. And here's a tip, remember to leave a 50mm overhang. Carefully cut to size with a sharp DIY knife. Working from the bottom to the top, Secure the felt overlap by tacking along the length of the overlap and around all the edges at 150mm intervals. When laying the felt over the OSB sheets, overlap on the top and the edges, then fold the corners. Wrap the remaining felt around at the eaves. Finish felting the top of the apex. Pre-drill the fascias and finial. Secure them to the shed using the screws provided. Cut off any excess felt. For a double door shed, fix the turnkey above the door that the staple is fixed to. Visit the Forest Garden website for more information.